Hello, it's Katie here from the Scrappy Sisters and I'm here today with another Project Life process video for you. I'm still working on November 2013 so I'm playing a bit of catch up. Um, so this is the first card you can see I'm doing here is actually a photo of my grandfather's grave marker. It was the first time I'd visited it since he passed away in May of this year, 2013. I know it's a weird thing to put in Project Life but you know it was a memory and I wanted to document it so I'm just going through working out what I want to put on that card so I was going to put that cherish but I thought it was a bit too much um, so instead I went for a giant stag head because that's not too much at all <laughs> uh, but yes I just went for this I think it was more the coloring that was a bit much for me and the cherish the gold and stuff whereas this cork was just it was a bit more went with the tones of the photo um, so I just add that and then I write some journaling in now I have had to edit a bit out so I go straight to another card in a second. I Silly me, I had my full name and phone number written on uh, um, my envelope punch board that I was using to round the corners and I thought probably best not to put that on the world wide web so I had to edit that bit out. Um, but I did realise so I changed it. So that was just my title page which just said November and some craft I did. This is just a filler card. So I am using my homemade kits that my sister made me and this um, layout is actually using a lot of the DIY embellishments that my sister made and included in the kit. So the stag that you saw on the first card and then this is like a rosette which she made which I'm just using as like a, a filler card bit and I do write some journaling on this card too. I think I'm just writing about my month in review really um, nothing too exciting so that's that card and then I'm moving on um, this is a picture of myself and my puppy dog Gypsy you've seen her in a lot of my videos lately um, so yeah just a selfie how unusual for me for 2013 so just sticking that down on the page and then it takes me a while to figure out what I want to include on this page um, but in the end, I do go with a die cut that my sister had cut out for me. The weather's starting to turn. It's still winter in Melbourne, but the weather is starting to get slightly nicer. But also what that means is spring is on its way and the wattle is starting to come out and I'm getting hay fever. And it is eight o'clock in the morning on a work day and I'm quickly filming this voiceover before I have to go to work and my nose is running so apologies I am trying not to sniff through the voiceover because that would be very distasteful but that's rather difficult <laughs> so as you can see I chose the die cut there with, of the camera and I put a little love heart in the center of the camera which I think is very cute just doing a little bit of journaling not that it says much just gypsy and I on the couch this weird photo of my hand <laughs> might be hard to see but it is the teeniest tiniest stick insect on my little finger I found it oh, on my finger not my little finger on one of my fingers maybe it is my little finger might be my little finger oh, it was the cutest thing ever so you know again random photo to put in project life but why not why not I don't even do any journaling I think the photo speaks for itself really uh, so I just add this little wood veneer That says photo on it, which I think is very cute. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do anything else. Um, I think I might be going to look through my washi, actually. Yeah, I did. So that washi is from my stash, but I did think it needed something else just to help that wood veneer stand out a bit. So I added that washi. And... And then that little wood veneer that says photo. So in November, I love Christmas. It's like my favorite time of the year. And in November, I decided it was a good time to start doing some Christmas craft. So this photo is me making some little Christmas balls out of Christmas paper, which I will use to decorate. But actually, believe it or not, now in 2016, I still have those. 
and they're still in that exact same bowl and I don't even put them away over Christmas. They just sit in my glass cabinet and then every Christmas I bring them out as a centrepiece. So I think this is the last card that I do and <coughs> sorry excuse me and it is a filler card and I'm not that happy with it but you know whatever it works. So I do put that little die cut down the bottom and then that gold heart and I do add a little like button flare sticker to it as well and then I leave it at that. I really like that paper though it's like frames yeah so that's it so this is a very quick video very quick project life spread it's only one page I didn't do much in November of 2013 as it turns out um, December was flat out but not so much in November so you can see here this is the completed layout so that photo on the right the pink photo there that I'm pointing to right now that's a photo of my friend's baby and I just thought I best not put that on YouTube without her permission so I have covered that but as you can see that is my spread I hope you've had a lovely day and we will see you again in the next video okay bye